Have you at any point contemplated whether we're genuinely alone in the universe, or, on the other hand, if there's something else to our reality besides what we see? Imagine a scenario in which the James Webb Telescope at last demonstrates that we live inside a black hole. Go along with us as we find out more about this noteworthy news that will make you question all that you thought you had some awareness of the universe. So, what precisely are black holes? They're like something out of a bad dream. Sure, you could have seen them in science fiction movies, but actually, it's considerably more terrifying. They're not only that, as indicated by researchers. Totally black holes in space are, all things considered, gigantic amounts of matter fit into an extraordinarily small region. Consider a star multiple times more massive than the sun, all packed into a circle the size of New York City. The gravitational pull is so serious that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. Researchers have been captivated by black holes for a long time. Since then, they've considered objects in space so gigantic and thick that they could trap light. The most famous ideas about black holes were predicted by Einstein's theory of general relativity. Basically, when a huge star passes on, it leaves behind a little, thick center. If this center's mass is multiple times that of the sun, gravity overpowers everything else, leading to the formation of a black hole. Identifying black holes is no simple task since they emit no light. However, researchers have found ways to infer their presence by observing their impacts on neighboring matter. For instance, if a black hole passes through a haze of interstellar matter, it will pull that matter towards it in a process called accretion. Furthermore, when a normal star gets too close to a black hole, it can get destroyed, emitting X-rays as it does so. Black holes also have a huge effect on their surroundings. They can consume nearby stars, emit strong gamma-ray explosions, and even impact the formation of new stars in some regions, while slowing it down in others. But where do black holes come from? Picture stars, once grand and bursting, meeting their extreme downfall in a staggering blast called a supernova. From the remnants of these fallen giants, black holes arise. Most black holes are born from massive stars that have reached their divine retirement party in a supernova explosion. Smaller stars, when they die, change into something many refer to as neutron stars, which are really thick but not thick enough to trap light. However, if a star is multiple times the mass of our sun, it collapses under its own gravitational pull forming a black hole. As these strong stars collapse, something strange happens near their surfaces. Time itself starts to play tricks. From the perspective of somebody far away, time seems to slow down near the event horizon, the final turning point for anything falling into a black hole. It's as if the star's clock ticks at a different speed compared to our own. Sometimes, when two smaller black holes collide, they merge to form an even bigger and more unnerving black hole. And if a black hole interacts with a neutron star, they create a monstrous nightmare that defies comprehension. Researchers have been wrestling with the size of these vast phenomena for a long time. Black holes come in two sizes, gigantic and small. There's an evil secret surrounding them that we really can't unravel. However, here's the twist. Small is relative when it comes to black holes. Supermassive black holes, remnants of giant stars, can be as massive as 10 to 100 times the size of the sun. There could be upwards of 10 million to a billion of them in the Milky Way alone. That's a galactic number of black holes that could swallow anything in their way. However, wait, there's something even more monstrous. Supermassive black. Holes are on the opposite end of the spectrum. They are millions, if not billions, of times bigger than the sun. They exist at the center of large galaxies, including our own Milky Way. It's like a vast, dark emptiness pulling everything towards it. Famous physicist Stephen Hawking spoke about black holes throughout his life. His lectures were always insightful, though some of his theories couldn't be confirmed due to a lack of necessary equipment. However, there's hope on the horizon. A single scientific instrument is changing everything, and we're not ready for it. It goes by the name of the James Webb Space Telescope, also known as JWST, and it's here to dive into the depths of our universe. Let me tell you, the JWST is no ordinary telescope. It's an engineering wonder, a demonstration of the power of human ambition. Sure, we've launched other space telescopes before, and they've done their jobs fine and dandy, but this bad boy is truly amazing. 
the JWST makes the Hubble, which has faithfully served us for decades, look like a simple speck in the universe. And the price tag of this galactic miracle is an incredible $10 billion. Yes, you heard that right, that's enough zeros to make your head turn. And get this. It took the combined efforts of NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency to bring this wonder to life, as well as the priceless contributions from over 300 universities. But let's not forget the risks that come with such a grand endeavor. I know this isn't a project for the faint-hearted. The JWST is venturing into uncharted territory, pushing the limits of what we know, and taking us to places we've only dreamed of. Following a successful launch, NASA recently announced that the telescope has enough fuel to last more than twice its base mission life. Since its launch, the JWST has made many incredible achievements. It traveled over one million miles to reach its orbit around the sun, where it will remain forever. During its journey, the telescope successfully unfurled its massive five-layer sunshield and giant primary mirror, both of which had to be folded to fit onto the launch vehicle. Now, after NASA has calibrated and adjusted it, the telescope is nearly ready for full operation. One of the most interesting aspects of the James Webb Space Telescope was when NASA announced it had captured its first pictures of starlight. The first image taken by the telescope was of a star called HD 8446, resulting in a mosaic of 18 scattered bright spots from the star's light captured by the 18 mirror segments on the primary mirror. NASA later released another, better-than-ever picture of HD 8446, in which 18 unfocused copies of the star were combined into a deliberate hexagonal arrangement. Once the observatory successfully aligns the individual segments of the primary mirror, it will begin the image stacking process bringing 18 images on top of one another into one clear view. Thanks to its advanced technology, the JWST will help scientists examine the early stages of the universe after the Big Bang. It will study what happened after the first stars formed, a period known as the Epoch of Reionization. This era refers to when neutral hydrogen was reionized, made to have an electric charge again by radiation from these first stars. This involves looking back billions of years, which is only possible with a powerful telescope like the JWST. The telescope will also assist scientists in finding exoplanets, which are very hard to detect due to the way they interact with their host stars. Its powerful sensors will be able to observe these planets in more depth, including in some cases, imaging their atmospheres. Understanding the atmospheres and conditions for planets could help scientists better predict if certain planets are habitable or not. Aside from studying the formation of worlds, Researchers are studying galaxies to understand how matter is organized on a massive scale. This, in turn, allows us to see how the universe evolved. The spiral and elliptical galaxies we see today evolved from different shapes over billions of years. One of the JWST's goals is to look back at the earliest galaxies to better understand that evolution. Scientists are also trying to figure out how we got the variety of galaxies that are visible today and the current ways galaxies form and gather. However, most importantly, the James Webb Space Telescope will help us answer the most important questions of all. Are we alone in the universe, and are we living inside a black hole? The JWST has already been on the hunt. And guess what it found? Compounds called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs, lurking around those huge, supermassive black holes in three active galaxies. These carbon-based molecules with ring-like structures are like the goth kids of the universe. They're everywhere, from distant galaxies to comets in our solar system. Now, they're not just fascinating because they could be the building blocks of life, but also because they help astronomers track star formation. When ultraviolet radiation hits these PAHs, they go all glowy and emit infrared light, a signal that can be detected by the JWST's mid-infrared instrument, also known as MIRI. That's typically a sign that there are some hot, young stars hanging around. But wait for the twist. A daring astrophysicist, Ismael Garcia Bernard from Oxford University, decided to take a look at three active galaxies known as NGC 6552, NGC 70319, the eerily famous Stefan Quint, and NGC 70469. These galaxies are millions of light years away, in the depths of darkness. Now, what Garcia Bernard found will make your hair stand on end. In those central regions where the black holes rule, 
he found an abundance of PAHs. Sounds great, right? Well, here's where it gets chilling. The radiation near those supermassive black holes warped the Pa's very essence, transforming them into larger, electrically neutral versions of themselves. The smaller, electrically charged PAHs disappeared into oblivion. Imagine being consumed by the darkness itself. But wait, there's a flick. Or of hope? Or perhaps not. The ultimate question here is not whether we're alive, but if we truly exist. Does everything around us exist because of the black hole we are in? It all ties into the theory that perhaps we're not simply living inside a black hole, but rather inside the event horizon, a border between the universe we know and the unknown. Could it be that everything is connected inside a black hole? The James Webb Space Telescope is out there right now, looking for the answers to the unknown. Stay tuned and maybe, just maybe, it will make us all rethink what we thought we knew about existence. The truth may be far more twisted than we realize.